Hey, welcome to vba.tutorialcode.com. In this video lesson, I'll show you how to loop through filters in Excel using code. Uh, so I'm just going to press play over here real quick and just show you what the code does. So basically we have a data set. We have column A and then we have column B with dates. So say you wanted to separate each of the days onto their own respective sheets. So here's sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4, sheet 5. It has each of the different days there, all the unique days. So basically what this does, this code over here, and VBA in the Visual Basic Editor. Um, it'll just loop through and filter column B by each of the unique item sets over here. And then it'll just copy and do whatever you need to do. Um, so I'll show you how to step by step filter and loop through each of the filters in VBA. I recommend you watch my uh, video lessons in order, lessons one through five, uh, if you're unsure of how to get to the screen and you want to learn the basics for Visual Basic uh, coding in Excel. Uh, but now I'm just going to step through this uh, this code line by line so you can uh, follow along and learn how to do this. So I'm going to press F8 and uh, so column B right now we're just going to copy column B into L and this line of code right here basically just removes the duplicates and it leaves us with all unique items. So here we're just going to uh, de declare a few variables, dim equals array dictionary items as an object, and we're just going to put that object in the scripting dictionary. We're going to declare items as a variant, item as a variant, and i as a long. Uh, I'll show you what each of the, the variables get set as later, but basically we just create a uh, an item set and then we set each of the items equal to a value and then we fill that into the the dictionary and it just basically makes a list of items one through four uh, for each of the days one 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 two one three and one four uh, so with the active sheet it just adds in filters here across all of the columns of data uh, if there were only data in column B and L, it would fill in filters on B through L. And uh, so right here, if B3 doesn't equal blank, this is the doesn't equal sign, and uh, blank is indicated by two double quotes, uh, then it sets annoying equal to two. So being that uh, we do two separate actions, if uh, there are multiple uh, rows of data, like say if there's only data in B2, then we want to do something different than if there are, uh, if there is data in like B2, B3, B4, etc. Because uh, say if there are multiple, we want to action something different than if there is a single one. Uh, so right here, items equals range L2 to L and all the way down to the bottom of L. So uh, it sets uh, items equal to four basically because there are four days one two three four so we're going to four i equals one to four and it's just going to fill in this array dictionary of items one through four uh, with each of the days so here it fills item one as uh, one one item two is one two item three is one three item four is one four so uh, this line of code just creates a new sheet for each of the items, so we're on uh, item 1 and sheet 1. We just add in sheet 2 there, sheet 3, sheet 4, sheet 5. Uh, so for each of the items in the array dictionary of items, uh, what we want to do is we want to filter uh, field 2 here, which is column B, uh, being that uh, there are filters across all of these. Uh, if we want to reference field 1, it would be A in this case, only because there is a filter there. If, for example, there was nothing in column A and it was blank and the first filter was on column B, then B would be auto filter field 1. Uh, but in this case, it's 2, being that there is stuff in A. And we're just going to filter by the first item. Uh, this for each next right here, this block of code, it just loops through however many items there are, 1 through 4. Uh, in this case, but I mean in your case there could be more than four days, there could be, uh, like, this uh, code just works for however many days there are, like if you have like 50 different days, it'll work for all the different days. Uh, so right here, column A, it'll just uh, copy the visible cells, 
this just selects only the visible cells because we don't want to copy anything that isn't filtered there. So this will select sheet 2 because we set x equal to 2 up here. And uh, later on we add x equals x plus 1 which makes it equal sheet 3. So we're just going to paste and then select sheet 1, add x to itself. Right now x is 2 and then when you add x to x plus 1, x equals 3 so we could add, select sheet 3 next time. So now we're on item 2, 1, 2, 2018. You can see the code's like changing over here. Copy that, paste, filter by uh, item 3, 1, 3, copy, paste, item 4, copy, paste. And then uh, you basically just remove the filters here and that's uh, all the code, it's all on different days. So I mean if you wanted to watch my like uh, YouTube video where you set up auto emails, you could save each of these sheets at, or different workbooks. You could watch my workbook video. You could save each of these days as different workbooks, and you could have an auto email sent out with each of the different workbooks. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out my website uh, for more uh, videos, and I recommend you watch my lessons in order. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.